Okay, I'm going to make a demo for uh, another tutorial that I'm writing, and I figured why not record how I do it and just talk about the techniques as I go along. So I'm making this on-off button, and I'm going to use it to um, teach you guys how to change the mouse event that triggers something in HTML. But for now, let's just go ahead and make the design. I want it to be... A relatively decent size, so let's call this like 120 by 40. It's a decent size button that you can have on a page. Um, I mean, maybe it's going to be like that. Maybe let's make it 160, 160 by 60. Okay, there you go. It's big enough. Um, let's zoom in, and I just wanted to toggle on and off. And what we're going to do is we're going to have um, it hover between on and off depending. Uh, de yep, depending on whether or not the mouse is there. Okay, so first thing we do is I know that the background I'll probably want to just have a background color on it, and we're going to reveal that background color. Let's say it's pink when it's let's say it's uh, let's say it's purple when it's on. Well, not let's say it's pink when it's on. Okay, it's on. And then I'm going to make a layer on and. off. Okay, so we have two text layers. Now, um, I know that I'm probably not going to need to change those anytime soon, or uh, I don't need, just want to worry about fonts in my design, so I'm just going to convert them to outlines. Always safe to do stuff like that. And then let's just center those inside the canvas. Um, right there. And now we're going to uh, add our rectangle for oops, R, not A, for the background for the off button. Get rid of that border. change the fill color to purple. Change that name. It's always good to name things the appropriate names nice and clean. Don't have 1600 ovals in your designs or rectangles, rectangle two, etc. cetera. Um, now what I want to see is I want this to sort of slide off this way, but at an angle. And then what I'm gonna do is in flow, uh, do some fancy little masking technique, which is nice to get this uh, sort of like cut through the off as it's moving. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to figure out the angle that this is going to be at and then make sure that my shape is the right size to cover the whole artboard. Um, so I want to go just an angle from here to here. Okay, so let's rotate that a little bit. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Here we go. 10, 20. Let's see, does 20 look good? I'm gonna go from edge to edge. Need to make that wider. Yeah, that's close enough. That's close enough. Looks good. Okay, so now what we do is we center it and we're sort of looking at whether or not that shape is gonna fill the artboard properly. Yep, it fills it edge to edge that way. And then all we need to do is just make it taller. So I'm pressing uh, option and dragging up. And now down, down, down. Great, we can, it's 112 height. Let's just make it 120. Let me get a little bit of breathing room. Okay, let's get rid of that. Make that zero. Center it, just like that. And then we're gonna group these two. Before we do, actually, just as like a little technique, I'm gonna take that off and then I'm going to group it that selection we're going to call this the off group this is the off label and we'll call this the on label so this is just going to be a backup what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to rotate this entire group in flow and then i'm going to go to the end of the animation and 
I'm going to move. It's sort of like this dynamic, like moving the group and then unmoving the off layer at the same time. But you'll see what I mean. And I'm going to use this for reference and then I'm going to delete it later. Okay, so here we go. We're going to link our sketch file. Let's go back to the desktop. Off demo. I'm just going to add that thing. Oops. Yeah, we can delete that. Add. Okay. So here we go. There's our artboard, right? There's the group. And there's our off label. So I'm going to just turn this off for a second. Um, actually, what we can do is we can select it and then we're going to just give it a random fill color so we know which one is which. That one is off. And I'm going to go to the end. And press Command Shift R. Now I want this to be, the group to be 20 degrees rotation, which means that that off label needs to be minus 20 degrees. And then we want the group to be up here, something like that. So there we go with our animation. That's not quite the position that I want. See how that happens like that. So we want this to just maybe be like that. A bit more ballparking. There you go. So now we're going to get that nice motion. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take that off. We're going to turn that back on. We're going to go to the end. Ah, we can get rid of that color change so we know what we're doing here. And we're going to take this label. We're going to move it right like this. And we can say 0.5 flow defaults to snapping to points and let's say minus 76.5 there they're right on top of each other now okay so that means we can delete this now it looks like that off doesn't move see and we select that group say masks to bounds there you go now we have this nice masking effect looks like this on is a little bit offset so what i'm going to do just Command shift, move it. There we go. And there's our animation. Now it's a little bit fast. So let's make it 0 point, 0 point 0.3. And we're going to scale that animation, right? Let's save this. And we're going to call this on off the demo. Okay, so now I've gone and made that just bigger. I press Command Shift 1 to make it fit to the size of the scene. And let's go and export. So I always like to just, for the first test, if I'm doing web stuff, just export to HTML. Why not? Uh, just to see how it works. We're going to go open that folder. We're going to double click, go into the timeline, click timeline. There we go. Press play. Okay, great. There's our 0.3 seconds. Now, what we want to do is we want to change like an on click event to on hovers. That means we're going to work with the HTML toggle button export. So let's go back here. We're going to close that window. We're going to press command shift E again, and we're going to export the HTML toggle button. Let me say export and we open the folder. Double click here, double click here, double click here. And now whenever you click, it plays the animation forward and back. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hover so that we can do that hover like this. Okay, so that's how you make the asset for the other tutorial that we're gonna be working on soon. So we'll probably have a link to that in the notes. Go ahead and check out that video.